Hello everyone, hope you're doing good. Canada has conducted yet another express entry draw, the express entry draw number 173, which was conducted today on January 20th. We'll talk about this draw, what was this draw all about. But before that, let me tell you that if you haven't joined the Facebook group yet, and if you have any queries, this group will be very helpful for you. More than 85,000 people are there to help you out. Also, if you want to enjoy some fun moments, you can connect with me at Instagram and my ID is Dreamers Abroad. It's all about fun and all about my life in Canada. Okay, quickly taking over you to the official webpage of Government of Canada where they've told about the details of the Express Entry Draw 173. No surprise, from the last two draws that were conducted, we got to know that yes, Canada would be continuing the old pattern once again that they would be conducting PNP draws and CEC draws back to back. So yes, they have conducted yet another PNP specific draw. This draw was not an all program draw. This was a PNP specific draw and number of invitations that were issued were 374 and the CRS score of the lowest ranked candidate was 741, which means that if we deduct 600 points that PNP would have given to him or her, which means the lowest score would be 141, which is actually very low. But yes, that's the beauty of the PNP program. If you have the invitation from any of the Canadian provinces, you will certainly get the ITA very soon. The tie-breaking rule was as per September 5th, 2020. And at this time, if we look at the CRS score distribution of candidates in the express entry pool as of January 18th, we would see that in the score range of 601 to 1200 they were around 295 people and few more people actually added into this pool in the last two days and total number of invitations that were issued were from this pool only were 374 okay now because this was a pnp specific draw i am pretty sure that they would be coming up with another draw tomorrow or day after tomorrow which would be a cec specific draw and there are high chances that they might issue 4,626 invitations, which is 5,000 minus 374 because they generally issue 5,000 invitations in every alternate weeks. So I'm pretty sure that all the people in the express entry pool who are from the CEC category, they would be very happy. You could definitely expect that the cutoff score would actually go down to maybe 457, 458 or something like that because the last time it was 461 and you could definitely expect a drop in it. But all the federal skilled worker class people who are there in the home country who don't have the Canadian work experience or don't have any PNP nomination, should you get depressed? Because the all program draws are not happening, this would make you a little upset. And probably the first few draws that would happen after they stop doing these PNP and CEC specific draws would have a higher cutoff score. Just like this time here when you see that the uh, PNP and CEC specific draws were happening and, and suddenly on July 8th they conducted an all program draw, the cutoff score was 478 but then slowly and steadily it kept on dropping and finally it dropped down to 468. So yes this is little upsetting but don't lose your smile because Canada would conduct the all program draws sometime in the upcoming months, nobody can tell you when but yes they would certainly conduct the all program draws once again. Maybe after the condition of lockdown in Canada gets a little better. Until then, we can also get an idea from this pool here. All the people above 471, the count is not that high. Probably around 4000 or something like that. Slowly, people would increase in this list. So the first all program draw that you would see for this year 2021 would certainly have a high cutoff score. But then slowly it would drop back once again. So that was all the information I wanted to share through this video guys. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, please click the subscribe button. If you have any feedback, any comments, please put it down in the comment section below. I'll try my best to reply to your queries. Thanks again.